All right, thank you for tuning in. This is perfect timing, Rob. It's, it's 11 o'clock, and I'm thinking about lunch. Yeah. So we have a book about eating, right? Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> the Little Book of Simple Eating is the title of the book we're going to talk to you about. Uh, Dr. Sylvia Melendez-Klinger is on the phone, and she is one of two authors, according to the book cover. Uh, she is a nutrition expert, a contributor to Fox News Latino, the Huffington Post, Mamas Latinas, and the founder and president of Hispanic Food Communications. The website, by the way, that I, I just went to to look at is hispanicnutrition.com. And if you don't speak Spanish, don't worry, it is in English. The Little Book of Simple Eating. Good morning, Dr. Klinger. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Larry. How are you? I'm good. Where are you calling from? I'm in New York City. You're in New York. How's the weather today? A little chilly, (laughs) but we're here to help you to really, you know, tackle this winter that is coming up (laughs) quickly, very quickly. (laughs) So when we say simple eating, what what does that mean? Um, You know, that it really doesn't have to take too much really to get healthy and to build these healthy habits. You know, I tell my patients that it's about looking good and feeling good because that's the essence of life you know not only do you want to look good but you want to be able to feel good and today i'm really excited to talk about this uh, natural supplement true niagen which actually helps you to slow the aging process that um you know we get as we start to get older and some of these habits sink in we know that uh, there's things that precipitate aging like smoking and heavily drinking and right, not eating right. well not sleeping well but again you know there's things like you know the Mediterranean diet and practicing yoga to decrease the stress and all these things that help you to actually look good and feel good at the same time okay could you repeat what the supplement was again what did you say yeah true it's called true niagen true niagen okay and, and true is, niagen. is that on your website uh, it's not on my website, but you can go to betterstuffforlife.com. Okay. And there you'll find it, betterstuffforlife.com. And uh, you can always buy it on Amazon, online, and uh, available for everyone. But it's something that you can take every day to actually help you. Also, it works by increasing, um, you know, works with the NAD levels, increasing them. So that is what decreases, you know, slows down the aging process. We know that we can prevent it. Aging is a natural thing that happens in our body, but we can slow it down. And actually, you know, with exercise, with Mediterranean diet, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, drinking enough water, decreasing the stress level, those are the things that really also help you in conjunction with the supplement, helps you to really stay looking youthful for longer, but also feeling really energized as well. Uh, In your book, you uh, uh, say that we should learn how to shop as a family. Yes, yes. I love that. You know, with my children, since they were babies, I take them to the store and I teach them about, you know, fruits and vegetables and the grains and the uh, lean proteins and all these things as we go along and thinking about, you know, what we're going to eat that day, how we're going to do it, what we're going to cook. And it really makes it more fun. I mean, you know, taking away from shopping that could be a little tedious uh, makes it fun. And at the same time, the kids are distracted learning about things and and talking about what we're going to eat and what we're going to eat that week, how we're going to make it. It makes it a lot of fun. So, you know, tips like that, eating slowly some, some of the things that we can use for, um, you know, not only for ourselves, but also to build those healthy habits with our families. So tell me, tell me if I have a bad habit, if I use certain things, is, is salt a bad habit? Is mayonnaise a bad habit? Uh, some, uh, some things I do, I think maybe I should stop doing it. Uh, are, are there, is there a list of things I should <laughs> consider stopping? And, you know, Larry, you bring up a really good point because sometimes we want to put things into the right and the wrong side, you know, what's right, what's wrong. Right. But, you know, we're humans, and you're going to have a little mayo, you're going to have a little sugar, sometimes a little cookie, especially as we start this season. And um, perhaps, you know, it's moderation. Share the things that are more indulgent with other people. Sit down and, and eat slowly so you can enjoy that little piece that you're eating. And those are things that you could do to really, you know, take away that distress distract yourself from that temptation but if for some reason you get sick you get the cold weather your immune system gets weak because perhaps you ate too many of the wrong things or you have too much stress or something you know when you have those symptoms you know cold ease is a great lozenger that you can take right
right at the moment when you start feeling those symptoms of a cold. And it's clinically proven to shorten that length of that cold by 42%. So that's something that you can have in your medicine cabinet at work and your drawers in your desk or in your car so that you take it right when that time comes of those symptoms. But remember that the key is prevention and building that immune system by doing most days doing the right things and exercise, drinking plenty of water between meals and fruits and vegetables. I can't say enough. Take advantage of the season things that are in season now, the fruits and veggies that are in season, the pears and the apples, the pumpkin, and try to experiment doing some, uh, uh, some recipes. I mean, I think a pumpkin soup is like, what, three ingredients, maybe four ingredients? Pumpkin soup? Oh, that sounds interesting. That will, doesn't that sound good? I could go for that right now. I have a little piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're I okay with bread? It. So bread is okay? I, I thought bread was another bad thing. You know, many people think that bread is good. I mean, that bread is not something that is, um, you know, allowed in the diet. But bread has, you know, good carbohydrates. And the thing with bread is that we eat too much of it sometimes. And that's the problem with some of these things that we tend to overindulge. And that's when we get into trouble. But bread gives us energy, too, because bread has carbohydrates. Now, you need to variety. Not, you're not going to eat white bread every day. You want whole grains most of the time. You And then you can maybe incorporate a little bit of uh, white rice or white bread. But again, it's about variety. Variety and also portion control. Eat from a smaller plate so that way you're not over putting. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to get a smaller and, plate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> smaller plate, a smaller cup. Yeah. And, you know, pace yourself and enjoy. Close your eyes when you're eating something yummy and delicious. And have a small piece. Enjoy it. Close your eyes. Chew it about 15 to 20 times each bite. And you're going to start enjoying things, these foods better. And not perhaps, yeah. you know, and giving yourself enough time to not overindulge and making sure that you're feeling satisfied and know when is the time to really, you know, stop. (laughs) And uh, since you are a certified personal trainer, uh, what do you tell the people as they train? Should they train every day or should they alternate days? Um, well, I think something every day. You know, you don't have to be in the gym every day. It's, a, you know, when I brush my teeth, I'm balancing one leg. When I, um, you know, every time I'm at the airport or traveling, I try to kind of make things active. When I'm with the family, instead of giving them gifts that are, you know, promote more sedentary lifestyle, I tend to give them balls and bicycles and skates and things that really promote more activity. It's about moving every day. I mean, and then you can work different parts of your body different days of the week but for the most part it's about active being active moving 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 and that's going to burn the extra calories that you might eat at that party or you know the extra candy you might have i am trying to imagine myself brushing my teeth on one leg I, i'm i'm gonna have to try this right try it try it. i do it morning and night it really? really works really well just put one leg just behind the other put one leg and, and try to brush balance. your teeth <laughs> it's really it. it it's <laughs> I call it the flamingo. I call that the flamingo method. That's it, the flamingo. Oh, I'm going to use that. I'm going to steal that from you. The flamingo, that's the post. That's the flamingo method, yeah. Oh, yeah, but you yeah. know, for more information about everything we talked about, you can go to betterstopforlife.com, and there you'll find information about all these tips and the products and everything else. Um, you know, especially as we head into this winter season, we got to be mindful of all these things that we're eating. All right. And by the way, I went to BetterStuffForLife.com and Stephanie Oswald is on there. We know Stephanie. So you, oh, that's wonderful. Are you, are you, are you, friend, are you friends with Stephanie? Uh, we're all together here. <laughs> all right. Well, tell, tell her we said hello. I sure will. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Thank you, doctor. That was a fun interview. And I'm going to do the teeth brushing with the flamingo method, Robin. <laughs> you got it. You go for it. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back. Thanks, Larry. Friends, countrymen, tourists, and O'Callens, lend me your ears. Hey, speaking of ears, there is an opportunity for you to help feed and provide good maintenance, housing, and medical care for Marion County's rescued big cats, bears, monkeys, and other disabled or unreleasable wild and exotic animals. Take a tour on Wednesdays or Saturdays of the Endangered Animal Rescue Sanctuary. Call 352-266-2859. The Endangered Animal Rescue Sanctuary is affectionately known as EARS. 
Live on stage at the Ocala Civic Theater, born yesterday. Crooked businessman Harry Brock made his fortune on junkyards and a lack of scruples during World War II. In the fall of 46, he's in Washington, D.C. to bribe government bigwigs into shady deals. Harry has run along quite an entourage. His showgirl mistress, his perpetual inebriated attorney, and his yes-man cousin who keeps the drinks filled and the payoffs coming. Go see Born Yesterday at the Ocala Civic Theater from October 18th to November 11th. Call them for tickets. 352-236-2274. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, aisleways, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440. Or online at powellgene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Gene is a proud United States veteran. Honey Baked Ham has a new tailgate pack special. For just $19.99, a half a pound of delicious Honey Baked Ham slices. A half a pound of smoked or roast turkey slices. One pound deli side. Choose from broccoli bacon bliss. Loaded potato salad, etc. Plus one dozen King's Hawaiian Rolls. How about doubling your order for $39.99? Call 352-861-0011. Or come to Honey Baked Ham of Ocala, 2709 Southwest 17th Avenue, Ocala. Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6. Whether you're just starting out in your career or ready to make a change, being a commercial pilot is within your reach. The FAA has predicted that in the next few years, the number of planes in the sky will double, and that means a lot more jobs in aviation. Ocala Aviation has teamed up with an accredited university, enabling you to get a college degree in aviation while training to be a commercial pilot. And with options like financial aid, grants, and scholarships, it's never been a better time to get your new career in aviation started today. For more information, call me at Ocala Aviation, 352-861-7484. Shop, sample, and share the fun at Orlando's favorite event for women, the Southern Women's Show, October 25th through 28th at the Orange County Convention Center. Discover hundreds of boutiques filled with the latest fashions and trends, jewelry, gourmet treats, health and beauty, and so much more. Meet Savannah Chrisley from Chrisley Knows Best on Saturday. See actor and best-selling author Keegan Allen on Sunday. And watch your firefighters heat up the stage. Visit southernwomenshow.com for details. Discount tickets at Walgreens. I think that was my cue, Robin. 17 minutes after 11 o'clock, actually 18 minutes after 11 o'clock. Hey, we had promised that we were going to uh, draw another name from the uh, giveaway for Dollywood. So Robin is now getting the famous blue box. Somebody in just a minute or so will have uh, will be able to claim two tickets to Dollywood. These tickets are worth $70 a piece. We are giving away tickets to Dollywood all throughout um, and up until Thanksgiving. Uh, and if you would like to be a potential winner, you would need to call in to say you would like to have your name in the box because you can't win if you don't get your name pulled from the box. We don't have uh, airfare, we don't have bus fare, we don't have transportation to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, which is where this is. Uh, We also don't have hotel vouchers, but we do have tickets to Dollywood. So if you're going to be up there anyway, or maybe you know somebody who's up there and you can give these tickets to them, um, these tickets are worth $70 a piece, which is a $140 prize. So if you'd like to get your name in the box, you need to call the uh, office line. You can do it right now, 732-8000. You can only get your name in there one time, by the way. So if your name is already in the box, then you're done. You don't need to do anything else. We've either called your name and you've won already because we have given away uh, about a dozen. Oh, six of them. Okay, half a dozen then. But a dozen tickets, right? Six pairs, Okay, so a dozen tickets, yes. Uh, And we're going to give away two more right now. So if you want to get your name in the box, 732-8000 is the number. If you get Tish or Joe, just ask them to put your name in the box. If you are, if you, if it rolls over to the voicemail, just leave your name and number. And say I'd like to enter the Dollywood tickets contest. No cost, by the way. It doesn't cost you anything. You just call in and get. We'll get your name in the box, and Robin will do like she's doing right now. We're okay. going to pick a winner right now. All right. For two tickets go. to Dollywood. Let's see what we got. Drum roll, please. There's my drum roll. Oh, we have a Cheryl Knox. Congratulations, Cheryl. Cheryl Yay! Knox. Cheryl and, Knox. And these are transferable, by the way. If you if you are not going up there and you know somebody up there, uh, it's about what would you say, Joe? Should Joe would know this? It's about an eight hour ride. You think? I think so. I think it's about eight hours. Eight, eight hour drive, and it's just a beautiful area of the country. You know. 
Oh, it is gorgeous up yeah. there. I absolutely love it. Isn't, it. isn't it funny how... Well, no, we do go south, too. We go south for some things. Yeah. Key, Key West, Miami. Exactly. It seems, like, it seems like where I grew up, you always went up north to upstate New York. You you always went upstate in, in Wisconsin, right? Yes. For, oh, yeah. It was things. beautiful, yeah. So how, how long of a drive is it to uh, Pigeon Forge? To Dollywood. To Dollywood, yeah. From here, from Ocala. 12 hours. 12 hours. Okay, I was way off. Okay, so it's, 12, it's about a 12-hour drive. So Yeah, about 12 hours. So. Yeah, so, 10 to 12 hours, depending which way. If you go up if you go up uh, 75 all the way up to Knoxville, and then you take a right out of Knoxville, and there's like two or three roads to get into Sevierville and yeah. Pigeon Forge, what have you, that uh-huh. way. 12 hours, that's a long time in the car. Well, you don't have to do it in one day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of mom and pop. Uh, I'm old now. A lot of mom and pop. Uh, I never tech. thought about it twice. So you had a good drive though when you did it. I did it in two days. Yeah. On the way back, I always. It's funny. On the way up, I'll do it in two days. On the way back, I do it in one day. So this is for the winter, Robin. This okay. Two days. <laughs> I do it in one day. Yeah. Because you're anxious to get home. Yeah. Sam. Well, I I always give myself an extra. Uh. So let's say I'm doing it, and like halfway here, I get. Uh, I will pull over. You have to, yeah. I will pull over. Oh yeah. my gosh, I know. I, I get either that way too. either I'll pull over, take an hour nap. Now I've done that. I've taken an hour nap or yeah. two hour nap. Yeah. yeah. Wake up fairly refreshed. Then I make it the rest of the way. But there's other times where I'll just find a motel and I just, just say I'm done for the night. Yeah. On the way up, I, I went. Uh, Do you watch little, the TV in the room? Yeah, sometimes HBO, and I just leave it on and go to sleep. Oh really? <laughs> Unless there's a fan going on. Like on the way up, it was hot. I stopped uh-huh, a little, uh-huh. little motel called Cheerio in Glenville, Georgia. Oh, really? Nice. Thank you. Nice. Mom and pop, yeah. Swimming pool? No swimming pool. You didn't swim? No swimming pool. It's kind of hard with no swimming pool. So, uh, but it, it had this, it was an old motel, but clean. Uh, like I said, mom and pop. And the most unique thing about it was, this, you know, they all have, it had the, we could tell how old, old it was because it had a nice table, little table there. You, you know, you put your, you make papers out or whatever, and it had the lamp there, and it had a phone, actually hooked up so you could call the front desk or for pizza or whatever, I guess, you know. But no electrical outlet. Oh my! Well, oh. it was before, before uh, the laptops and everything. So yeah. There's no outlet on that yeah. one wall. Oh ah. my gosh! No, but there's nothing on the rest of the wall. But it was, it was a, like I said, it was so small. I had a, a one room king size bed. It had a little, uh, I guess, called a college refrigerator. Oh, okay, okay. Right, and on top of the college refrigerator was a microwave. Oh, okay. okay. And on top of the microwave was a little two cup coffee maker. Ah, nice. So next, so next, next to these appliances was an AC plug. So the refrigerator stayed plugged in. You want to use the microwave, you plug that in. You want to use the coffee, you pull out the microwave, you yeah. plug in the coffee yeah, pot. Yeah, sure, why not? Nice. Yeah. Uh, but it had a sofa, it had a, a chair next to it, nice chair. Again, this is all clean, nice and nice. One floor, a one floor building? Yeah, like a big horseshoe. Uh-huh. You know, oh, about 80 nice. units or so. Yeah. And then what was unique was going back in time, we went to the bathroom, into the bathroom, you know. It was nice, nice. And it, instead of having... You know how nowadays just that one knob you turn and the shower comes on. Right. Well, this had, it was a tub shower if you want to use the tub. But ah, you know, okay. So you turn the water on with two spigots. So you get a hot or cold. Ah. And, ah. <laughs> then you pull that little knob on top of the, the spout. Right. right, whoosh, right. And, it come, and it comes out the, uh, the shower head. Next to it, and I've never seen this in all the motels all the years I've been. Next to it was a hose Connection. Were you, you know, like a garden hose? Really? Uh huh. All locked in, shiny, looked good. And I said, Why it was there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm just thinking maybe for housekeeping, they could put something on and wash that wash or the dog. Out. So you can wash the dog. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know, you know. That's cool. I've that never a, seen that. That was yeah. always the thing with washing the dog. Yeah, it had to have a hose, right? Oh, yeah, you got to. Outdoors, too. Yeah. yeah I yeah. Unless your dogs are real small. Outdoors. We yeah. saw like my stepdaughter and, and son-in-law and the kids. They have the well, they have six dogs, but their little ones are Shih Tzus. The little little ones. Oh my, they're so cute. And then they just put them in, the, put them in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Do you know they got the big ones. Like my daughter, she has the the big um, uh, pit bulls, the big ones. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Oh, they, I love those dogs. They say that when you're training a dog, you should not refer to the bath as a bath. 
You because that word of kicking their head or something? Because it sounds like bad, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bad. Okay. We are going to wash you today. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to give you a wash today. <laughs> I, I always say you should call it something that rhymed with cookie. Did you want to go get a Wookiee? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, cookie, a Wookiee, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't know what we're saying. It's the inflection. Man. Right, right, right. <laughs> so getting back oh. to Dollywood, or not there, uh, once you get off of uh, Knoxville, you come down 40, you can go Knoxville to 40 and then come down. Or just before 40 out of Knoxville, there's a, ah, it's not 411. I can't think of the, the exact route, 416 or something. But it's, it comes right into, right into uh, Sevierville or Knoxville from the other side. Sevierville? Is that what you said? Yeah, Sevierville. You got Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg. Boom, oh, boom, boom. okay. Sevier. Is that the guy yeah. who did the, uh, the, the chip marks? Oh, David Seville. Seville. David Seville. That's Seville. This oh, is Seville. Seville. <laughs> yeah, this is where Dolly Parton grew up. This oh, really? Up. Yeah. Oh, okay. But on the way in, uh, we came in, of course, from North Carolina. So we came down. We came down 40. Then we came down. Uh, the side road was 411, I think it was. Uh-huh. And we went by Bush Beans. Oh, the, the Bush Baked Beans company? Bush Baked Beans. Oh, now, nice. young, in, in my Remember, I lived at, I guess now it's 30 years ago, 35 years ago I lived up there. But I lived there for 27 years, and when I used to go, that was the one of the things. But it was just, it was just bush beans. It was just a factory, bean factory. They didn't have a big welcome center and everything. So they have revved up their PR work, who's ever in charge. Huh. And uh, this, uh, the factory is gigantic. It is gigantic. I, 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 I don't know, 10 football fields maybe or more. I mean, it's, oh, wow, yeah. It is huge. big, big, big. Gosh. And you don't realize how big it is when you're driving through the first time. Then you get, again, the welcome center was there. But I was on the mission to go to, to Dollywood, so I didn't stop, largely. And when I left Dollywood, it was closed. But I left at night when it was dark. And you realize how big this factory was because the light's going on forever and ever and ever and ever. And all the hundreds of... Uh... Did it smell like beans? No, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, the windows were up when we had the air conditioner on. But uh-huh. uh, I, guess, I guess you had the smell of baked beans throughout the area, sure. But there was hundreds of tractor trailers. From all different venues, all different companies, mm-hmm. you know, like Walmart was there, and, but their own. Tra- and so they just pack them. It's amazing. It's, people don't realize how much we, as a country, consume. We do. We you know. So you got this one factory doing beans, right? Right. right and they, they, of course, they got. They have. You know, there's a thousand bean companies. Who knows where all the beans come from? Mm-hmm. But Bush's baked beans are like. The brand Boston baked beans. You know, it's it's a it's a brand name, quote unquote. So they have a reputation to to uphold. Mm-hmm. So you know to keep I their. Like I like their Boston beans. baked beans. Yeah, I like with the ham in it, with the <laughs> with a little bit of ham in there and the brown sugar. Oh, oh yeah, hungry. that's really good. The country flavor, I like. The yeah, the country best. flavor. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do uh, midday with Joe in about fifteen Ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen. Uh, right now. Yep. I gotta watch him. Yeah, you know, it's Friday. <laughs> and we'll be right back. It's the Friday version of Midday with Joe in about fifteen minutes. We'll be right back. The College of Central Florida is committed to being your first choice for quality higher education. CF has locations in Marion Citrus and Levy Counties and offers more than 60 academic programs. Earn a certificate, associate or bachelor's degree with Florida's 2 plus 2 program. A student can complete an associate in arts at CF and be guaranteed admission to a state of Florida university. CF is ranked number 13 in the U.S. for affordability, is military friendly and offers a full student life experience. Make CF your first choice. Call 352-873-5800. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News, I'm Chris Foster. It's now at least 12 suspicious packages this week sent to critics of President Trump. One addressed to New Jersey Senator Cory Booker has been found in Florida. 
another to the former National Intelligence Director James Clapper in New York City, where Fox's Brian Yenis reports. We also know from postal workers that the package looked exactly like it resembled those packages that we have seen throughout the week. The manila envelope, the six excessive postage stamps with the American flag on them, the block lettering. President Trump just tweeted the complaint about the bombing coverage overshadowing news of Republicans doing well in early voting and at the polls. He tweeted earlier, billions of dollars in spending on illegal immigration will not continue. Elio is part of the caravan of Central Americans walking through Mexico toward the United States. He tells Fox, My family, I needed too much money. The, my country, no money, no war. I need it. This is Fox News. This is a court-ordered notice. Current and former Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury owners or lessees can receive payments and other benefits from a legal settlement related to allegedly defective Takata airbags in their vehicles. To see if your vehicle is included and to file a claim, go to AutoAirbagSettlement.com or call 1-888-735-5596. That's AutoAirbagSettlement.com or 1-888-735-5596. 24-7, 365. You're up and at them every day, so you don't want something like Medicare Part D to slow you down. At Walgreens, we'll take care of your Medicare Part D prescriptions, saving you time and money. Make the switch to Walgreens today and get more by earning 100 balance reward points and save up to $5 on each Medicare Part D prescription when Walgreens is your preferred pharmacy. Walgreens, trusted since 1901. Prescription savings applies to Tier 1 generics when you fill out a preferred versus a non-preferred pharmacy on select plans. Points can't be earned in New York, New Jersey, or Arkansas. Other restrictions and limitations apply. Say, now would be a great time to refurbish those shrubs at your house. And the place to go is Bob Wines Camellia Gardens during their big October shrub sale. Lots of variety, including Ligustrum, Holly, Laura Pedlum, and many more. They're regularly $7.99 each, but this week you get six for just $29.99. And how about that super buy on azaleas? These are the popular Formosa azaleas in the number one size, regularly selling for up to $7.99 are just a buck ninety-nine each for one or for a hundred. Hurry though, supplies are very limited. This just in, Bob has reduced prices on palm trees by 50%. All fruit trees and citrus trees also 50% off. Don't miss this. It's now, it's today, this week at Bob Wines Camellia Gardens, Southeast 38th Street, Ocala, daily till four, Saturdays till two in the same blooming place since 1952. AccuSleep offers a safe and effective medical option for those who suffer from sleep disorders of all kinds. AccuSleep makes restoring healthy sleep patterns possible. No medication, no surgery, just good sound sleep. Mend your sleep so you can stop counting sheep. Experience restorative sleep at AccuSleep, the acupuncture sleep clinic in Ocala by calling 352-615-5566. Pro will get you equipped for anything with a John Deere 5045E utility tractor. At only $159 per month, you can add the perfect attachment to dig it, plow it, grade it, anything. Request a quote at agproco.com and get equipped for anything. Subject to approved installment credit with John Deere Financial. 20% down payment required. Taxes, freight, setup, and delivery charges could increase monthly payment. See dealer for details. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your Verizon representative with news that will hum your car, make it smart and safe. How? With a new hum device by Verizon. You can rest assured you're never alone. Flat tire? Lost? Accident? For $10 a month, hum by Verizon has you covered. And I will come to you in Marion County to install the hum for free. Time to call me at 352-528-0020. Are you ready to hum along? Call 352-528-0020. Here are today's headlines from the source WOCA. The FBI is reportedly investigating the postal facility on the southwest side of Miami Opelaka Executive Airport. Alan McBride explains. Several bombs sent to high-profile Democrats and critics of President Trump through the mail were processed in the Opelaka facility that handles packages mailed from Broward, Miami-Dade, and Monroe counties. The FBI reportedly is looking at surveillance video of the self-mailing kiosk machines and other nearby businesses. Ten packages with suspected pipe bombs were mailed to people who have been critical of President Trump. All ten listed Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz as the return address. 
I'm Alan McBride. Vice President Mike Pence was in Jacksonville campaigning for gubernatorial candidate Ron DeSantis yesterday. He told those who were gathered there that DeSantis is a leader and one who has helped the administration. Ron DeSantis is a leader. He's been a leader helping to move forward the agenda of this administration. It's, it's unleashed the tremendous potential of this economy. The vice president campaigned for the gubernatorial candidate and Congressman Ron DeSantis yesterday. The vice president spoke about the caravan of migrants making their way through Mexico toward the United States. As we speak, another migrant caravan is headed north. Started in Honduras, made its way through Guatemala, now it's in Mexico. By some estimates, more than 7,000 people are making the trek northward to violate our sovereignty and attempt to come into our country illegally. Democrats are accusing the White House and other Republicans of fear-mongering and using the migrant caravan as a campaign issue to drum up support for Republicans ahead of the midterms. And Vice President Mike Pence also is promising that an Air Force base in the Florida panhandle that was devastated by Hurricane Michael will be rebuilt in its entirety. Before the campaign engagement yesterday in Jacksonville, Pence toured Tyndall Air Force Base. He said he was humbled after seeing the massive devastation from the Category 4 hurricane that made landfall two weeks ago. The air base suffered catastrophic damage with roofs torn from airplane hangars and cars tossed around. The base is home to the nation's 325th fire Fighter wing. More than 3,600 men and women are stationed there. The Air Force evacuated the base in advance of the storm's arrival. More than two weeks after the powerful Hurricane Michael passed over Bay County, many people in the rural parts of the Panhandle feel they have been overlooked. Residents are posting on social media that they are living out of coolers, grilling out, and in some cases still living out of tents and campers. Although electricity, water, and sewer service were restored to Panama City residents on Wednesday, those in the rural parts of Bay County still lack basic services. County spokeswoman Valerie Sale says she understands why people in rural areas are feeling left behind. There are about 180,000 people living in the county, and according to the census, 14% of them live in poverty. A man faces several charges, including DUI manslaughter, after the Florida Highway Patrol says his pickup truck fatally struck three utility workers as they were repairing lines damaged by Hurricane Michael in the panhandle. All three men, 52-year-old George Cecil of Coleraine, North Carolina, 22-year-old Ryan Barrett of Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina, and James Ussery of Chipley, Florida, died from their injuries, according to a Highway Patrol news release. The Wednesday evening crash occurred on State Road 77 near Chipley, which is north of Panama City. The pickup truck, driven by 37-year-old John Gottke of the Tampa area, was heading north when it veered onto the road's shoulder, striking the workers, Sergeant R.C. Livingston wrote in the incident report. Gottke then fled the scene but was later tracked down and detained by the Washington County Sheriff's Office. He was later arrested by troopers. Ussery worked for West Florida Electric. Cecil and Barrett were both working for Lee Electric Construction Incorporated. Gottke, who received minor injuries in the crash, is charged with DUI manslaughter, felony vehicular homicide, and leaving the scene of an accident. Troopers said additional charges are pending. Chris King, the running mate for Democratic gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum, was on the campaign trail yesterday. High energy, uh, lots of excitement, big crowds. Um, really um, a high level of interest in the race, uh, both here in Florida and around the nation. King says health care remains the biggest topic of concern among the voters that he meets, and he notes the differences between the campaigns on the topic. We're for Medicaid expansion. He's opposed to it. We're for protecting people with pre-existing conditions. He's opposed to that. Uh, he's even gone so far as to say that if you have cancer and you don't have health care, you can just go to the emergency room. Uh, and we think that's bad policy and cruel politics. And King remarked on the mail bombs that were sent to prominent Democrats and other administration critics. It's unfortunately um, the, the, uh, the, the tragic fruit of this incredibly divisive culture uh, that has been created. And uh, it's right now can be a pretty nasty time in politics. 
Officials with FEMA are continuing the job of helping people dig out from under Hurricane Michael, and FEMA's Paul Huang says they're renewing their plea for people to get flood insurance in Florida. They're finding a lot of people hit by Michael, even indirectly, didn't have the insurance they need to cover their losses. There's uh, not enough folks that have the proper insurance, and many do not have flood insurance because they think it's a standard from homeowners. So I'm encouraging folks to really go out there and, and consider buying flood insurance because where it can rain, whether it's on the coast or inland, it can flood. He says there's only so much FEMA can do to help people rebuild. The right insurance, including flood insurance, can make all the difference. Officials at the University of Central Florida say an email sextortion scam is targeting university accounts. The Orlando Sentinel reports the emails claim to have video of users watching adult sites and demanding $900 if they don't want the video shared with all of their contacts. The university tweeted about the email scam yesterday, asking anyone who has been targeted to report it. The email involves someone nicknamed Darknet, who claims to have hacked into the computer, copying all the contacts and using webcam to record the videos the user has watched. The email warned the hacker was most struck by the adult sites you occasionally visit and says, quote, you have a very wild imagination, unquote. It then says $900 is quite a fair price to destroy, quote, the dirt I created, unquote. Florida's tomato industry has been under assault by cheap government-subsidized tomatoes from Mexico since the implementation of the North American Free Trade Agreement in 1994. But the Trump administration's renegotiated trade treaty offers no relief, according to growers. The new trade deal, dubbed the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, makes no changes to how fruits and vegetables are imported from Mexico, where labor is far cheaper than in the United States, and the industry is heavily subsidized by the government in the form of vast amounts of capital and growing technology, such as state-of-the-art greenhouses and irrigation systems. And six feet tall and 158 pounds. That is a big baby. Brevard Zoo has a new giraffe calf. The baby boy was born October 19th to mother Johari and father Rafiki. The calf will stay with Johari behind the scenes for a few weeks before he joins the Expedition Africa area of the park. The baby doesn't have a name yet. The giraffes are from the Maasai subspecies, which is native to Kenya and Tanzania, but the animals are threatened due to habitat loss and poaching in that part of the world. The Brevard Zoo has eight Maasai giraffes. The Brevard Zoo is located in Melbourne in Brevard County. And those are the headlines from the source WOCA 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. Clouds mixing with sunshine for Friday with a shower or thunderstorm around. It'll be breezy with highs 84 to 90 degrees. Patchy clouds for Friday night with lower humidity. We'll see lows dropping down between 61 and 70 degrees. For Saturday, not as warm as low humidity continues. Clouds will give way to some afternoon sunshine, high 76 to 83. Another comfortable day with low humidity on sunshine on Sunday. We'll see high 74 to 78 for Sunday afternoon. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Courtney Spamar. The City of Ocala Department of Recreation and Parks are proud to present the 35th Annual Light Up Ocala on November 17th. The fun starts on the square in downtown Ocala from 4 to 9 p.m. There will be food vendors, four stages of entertainment, Whoville, Fiend Kids Zone, the Downtown Holiday Skating Rink, Crafts, the Junior Sunshine Christmas Parade around the square, then at about 7.30 p.m., the official Downtown Lighting Ceremony. See you at Light Up Ocala. Please join Apostle Randy Brown, along with Dr. Gail Brown, in joyful praise every Sunday at 8.35 a.m. when they bring you the Bread of Life radio broadcast. Please tune to WOCA on 96.3 FM and 1370 AM, The Source. We look forward in sharing the word with you this and every Sunday morning at 8.35 a.m.
You're thinking about selling your home, but where do you start? Easy. Call Angie at 352-361-8359. Angie works with you to get your home sold. Angie is more than just an agent with Roberts Real Estate. She's a pro with heart. Call her at 352-361-8359, and you will know you have the right person. I'm Angie Umpleby, and I'm looking forward to working with you. When you call me at 352-361-8359. That's 352-361-8359. Howdy folks, R.L. here for Dairy Queen. As fall approaches, it seems our taste buds change gears and things like char-grilled hot dogs with chili come to mind. Also, I got a crow about our most tasty grilled and crispy chicken breast sandwiches. And everybody knows about our world-famous chicken tenders and pepper cream gravy. Mmm, good. But you might just want a banana split or a blizzard for dessert. Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. Preparing your garden for next year's crop during the winter months. That's coming up on This Land of Ours. It's time to rethink what you know about clean American propane and what it can do for your operation. Want efficient, reliable power independent of the grid? Propane can do that. Power for EPA-compliant engines without all the extra fluids and filters? Propane can do that. Eliminate fuel theft, lower hourly fuel costs, reduce downtime. Propane can do all of that. Discover all the things propane can do on your farm at propanecandothat.com. It's a new day. Thanks to the Farm Bill, USDA's conservation programs encourage, even reward, farmers who are willing to make a commitment to conservation. There are voluntary programs which provide technical assistance, cost share, land rental, and incentives. By now, you've probably started a list of how to prepare for the winter months when it comes